Dear GEA colleagues, um, I'm happy to welcome you to another video of our Pharma Exchange video series. My name is Benjamin Ledermann and I work for the Technology Management Department here at GEA Leifel in Hürth, close to Cologne in Germany. At GEA Leifel we are specialized in the design and manufacturing of um, large freeze dryers that are used for the sterile production of parenteral drugs for injection. Today I'd like to give you a short introduction into the exciting field of freeze drying and how we can use this technology to drastically enhance the shelf life of pharmaceutical products. Freeze drying or lyophilization is a very gentle preservation process that works by the removal of water from a frozen product. The drying process itself is carried out at very low temperatures which makes it um, suitable for heat sensitive pharmaceutical products like for example antibody drug conjugates, antibiotics or certain vaccine formulations. The physics behind the lyophilization process are simple. Um, first we load the liquid product onto the shelves of our freeze dryer and then we start to cool down these shelves to a certain temperature of around minus 50 degrees Celsius. After we've reached this temperature, we then freeze our product until it has completely solidified. Um, in the next step, we then start the actual drying by pulling a vacuum in our chamber. And this forces then um, a direct phase transition from the ice that is present in, in our product to water vapor without passing through the liquid state of water. And this is a process that some of you might know as sublimation. The sublimation itself um, extracts energy from the product and therefore um, we need, in order to keep the sublimation going, we need to heat our product shelves to a certain degree yeah, to balance out this energy loss but without risking a melting of the product. And this is actually a very critical phase of the freeze drying process during which the shelf temperature must be carefully controlled and maintained. After all the ice is sublimed, we can further rise the shelf temperature without risking a melting of the product. Um, during this phase, which we call um, secondary drying, we desorb water from the product and actually adjust the so-called residual moisture um, below a certain threshold. And this is again one of the very critical parts of the freeze drying process because the residual moisture um, actually has a direct influence on the shelf life and the stability of a finally freeze dried product. The huge volume of water vapor that we generate during our drying processes under vacuum cannot be handled by pumps alone. Um, consequently, we catch the water vapor on large cooling traps next or below our um, product chambers and these parts of the machine are called ice condenser. The ice condenser is typically operated at uh, very, very low temperatures to ensure a pressure gradient from the chamber to the condenser and therefore a water vapor flow from the chamber to the condenser and because of the very very low temperatures we then solidify this water vapor as ice. Finally after our freeze drying process is complete we typically obtain a product with very very good um, uh, features like um, uh, very good stability at room temperatures and also a very good dissolution behavior. Um, therefore, lyophilized products are very easy to distribute, store and handle even uh, in a remote um, location throughout the globe where we, for example, do not have a cold chain in place. Um, with this, I'm coming now to an end of my video. Thank you all for your attention and stay tuned for the next part of our Pharma Exchange video series. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.